just me again and I've got my fluffy ears on today maybe tomorrow when you're watching the videos you could wear something on your head as well maybe a silly hat or some ears or you might have a little mask that you want to wear like I did yesterday as well so let's have some fun when we're doing our work together so it's time for us to do another little activity about our story one snowy night now want to see if you can remember some of the animals that were in that story. So have a little think of some of the animals that were in that story. Can you remember them? I'm going to write them down on this board. Now you could also write them, you could copy them and practice your handwriting as you're writing them. So what did we have? Yep, we had a badger. So I'm going to write badger on here. We had a badger. What else did we have? One of the animals started with the s sound. Well done, it was a squirrel. So we've got a squ squirrel, a squirrel, a fluffy squirrel. And we've got a I'm going to Fred taught this one. Fox. That's right. A fox. 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 Can you think of another animal? Have you said rabbit yet? If you've said rabbit, give yourselves a thumbs up. Rabbit. Rabbit. And I want you to be thinking of one of the animals and it begins with a that's right it's a hedgehog this one's my favorite hedgehog it begins with a sound hedgehog and then we've got some ducks ducks well done D oh. now this is duck but because there was more than one duck, I'm going to put a s on the end, ducks. And also, there was so there we had some mice, mice. Now, if there's one, we say it's a mouse, but because we had lots, we say mice, mice. One is a mouse, and more than one, we say mice. So we've got badger, squirrel, fox, rabbit, hedgehog, ducks and mice. And I've got some pictures of those animals on the board. So I'm just going to move this over here for now. And let's have a little look at our animals. Because the job that I would like you to do today is to think of some words to describe these animals, okay? Think of some words to describe these animals. Imagine that an alien had landed from out of space and the alien has never heard of or never seen a squirrel. So I want you to think of some words to, do, to describe a squirrel. You might want to pause the video while you have a little think. Okay. You might say that he's got a bushy tail. He likes to eat nuts. He's brown and he's got some whiskers. Let's have another little look at the next animal. Rabbit. Can you think of some describing words for the rabbit? Think of some words to describe the rabbit. If you've ever touched a rabbit before, you will know how it feels. So you might say that the rabbit is soft or fluffy. You might say he has got long ears and a short tail and four legs. I'm going to put the next one up and I'm not going to help you this time. You have a little think of some words to describe the fox. And the next one, the duck. Can you think of some good describing words? Again, you might want to pause your video while you have a little think. 
and you could ask your adult to write down some of the words some of the describing words that you're thinking of it would be great if you put them into your book so when you come back to school mrs reed and i can see all of the words you have thought of another one hedgehog one word that i would say straight away for a hedgehog is spiky spiky or prickly and a badger and finally a little mouse a mouse now i put all of the animals up on there because what i would like you to do now is i would like you to think of which animal you would like to be which animal would you like to be Ooh, and i wonder why you would like to be that animal i would like to be a hedgehog that's the animal i would like to be i'm going to leave those up on the screen just for a few seconds while you have a little look which animal would you like to be and then I'm going to write about it so I'll put my board just on there so you can see it and we're going to write a sentence about the animal that you would like to be okay we're going to write I want to be a so let's count the words in that sentence I want to be a and then we need to think of the animal that we would like to be. So I'm going to say hedgehog. Six words. But I'm going to think of a word to describe the hedgehog. So I want to be a prickly hedgehog. Which is the word that describes the hedgehog? It's the word prickly. So let's have a go at writing this. I'm going to do it first and then you can practice writing this in your book so i tricky word remember i want now what sound can i hear at the beginning of want want and i can also hear mm. and at the end i can hear t -t -t. i want to Oh, this is a tricky word. I know how to spell this one because I've learned the tricky word. I want to be, be. Another tricky word. Oh, I know this one because I was listening very carefully when I was in class. I want to be, another tricky word, a prickly, prickly. P -p 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 oh, it begins with a p. I can hear p. Purr, purr. I, 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 I. K, k. Ooh, k, k. Oh, and I'm going to do my two letters and one sound. Prick, prickly, yuck, yuck, yuck. prickly. I want to be a prickly hedgehog. Hedgehog. Some of these words are quite tricky, boys and girls, but just have a go. Listen to the sounds you can hear in the words and write the sounds that you can hear. Hedgehog. Hog. Hog. Hedgehog. And at the end of a sentence, we put a little dot, a full stop. I want to be a prickly hedgehog. Let's count the words in that sentence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, finger space, two, finger space, three, finger space, four, finger space, five, finger space, six, finger space, seven. I want to be a prickly hedgehog. Smooth that. And I'm just going to speak to your adults now, adults listening. 
Um, when the children are writing the words, we're encouraging them to use their phonic knowledge. So I'm not expecting them to spell the word want correctly, or the word squirrel, or the word hedgehog, or badger. But for them just to hear some of the sounds in the words and write the matching letters. So, for example, the children might write the word want. The children might write the word want like this. Want. They might spell it like that. And at this stage, that is absolutely fine. Some children, you might find, will say what the mighty the mm sound and then the t at the end as well or they might hear a and a t want those are the sounds they might hear so don't get too worried if your child can't spell all of the words correctly because at the moment as i say we just want them to hear the sounds that they can hear in the words and then write those matching letters so again, like squirrel, you might have the children write the word squirrel like this. They might hear that s, they might just hear a r, and then a o. Some children might hear s, r, squirrel. They might hear it like that as well. So that is absolutely fine at this stage. I'm just encouraging the children to use their phonic knowledge. So boys and girls, have fun with your writing. I'm looking forward to seeing some of the writing that you are doing. And keep working hard. Remember tomorrow, if you want to, you could wear a silly hairband or a silly hat as well. Okay? So have lots of fun at home. Stay safe and keep trying your best. Thumbs up. Bye for now, boys and girls. Bye.